ఐఎమ్ ఆర్ సుచరిత డిపార్ట్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ ఇంగ్లీష్ గవర్నమెంట్ డిగ్రీ కాలేజ్ ఖరతాబాద్ హైదరాబాద్ సో ఇన్ ద ప్రీవియస్ యూట్యూబ్ వీడియో వీ హ్యావ్ డన్ ద ప్రోస్ అ రాంగ్ మ్యాన్ ఇన్ వర్కర్స్ ప్యారడైజ్ విచ్ వాస్ రిటర్న్ బై రబీంద్రనాథ్ టైగర్ సో ఇన్ దిస్ పార్ట్ టూ వీడియో వీ షిల్ కంటిన్యూ అండ్ అండ్ ద లెసన్ సో దిస్ ఇస్ ద లెసన్ అ రాంగ్ మ్యాన్ ఇన్ వర్కర్స్ ప్యారడైజ్ పార్ట్ టూ రబీంద్రనాథ్ tiger so a hustling active girl went every day to a silent torrent silent for in the workers paradise even a torrent did not waste its energy by singing to fill her pitcher with water the girl's movement on the road was like the rapid movement of a skilled hand on the strings of a guitar her hair was carelessly done a few inquisitive wisps flew on to her white forehead to peep at the dark wonder of her eye so we see a hustling so a hustle i told you it is to move very quickly to move very quickly is called as hustle so this girl she was hustling very quickly moving because she is an active girl and she uh, went every day to a silent torrent so this is the torrent so it is a uh, torrent means it is a stream it is a silent torrent and this girl every day she went to the she she went to the torrent uh to fill her pitcher so this is her pitcher and she went to the torrent every day to fill her pitcher with water so the girl's movement on the road was like the rapid movement of a skilled hand on the strings of a guitar so guitar is a musical instrument so when we play a guitar so uh, the strings of the guitar when we move them with the uh with the blade which is in our hand so it it moves on in a very fast way so the the girl is so active that her movement is compared with the strings of a guitar she was not only an active girl but she was a skilled hand she was a skillful girl and her hair was carelessly done we can see her hair in the picture in the picture so a few inquisitive wisps flew on to her white forehead so i told you what is the meaning of a wisp wisp is nothing but it is the curl of the hair we can see the curls of the girl's hair and uh, we can see her a uh, forehead is white that is she is fair in color and she has those dark wonderful eyes so every day she would go to the torrent to that silent torrent to fill her pitcher with water so uh, the the unemployed man was standing by the fountain motionless as a princess sees a lonely beggar through her window and is filling and is filled with pity the busy girl of heaven saw the unemployed man and was filled with pity so here is the here is the man so this is the man and he was standing near the fountain and he was motionless so as uh, we can see in the picture as the princess sees the beggar through her window and when she is filled with pity she comes to that beggar uh, in the picture isn't it in the same way this active girl to the busy girl of heaven saw the unemployed man and she was filled with pity aha she said you haven't any work in hand have you so she observed that man and she was uh, telling that aha you don't have any work in your hand have you so the man said work i haven't a moment to spare for work i the so with uh, the, that sigh the man he told yes work 
I don't have a moment to spare for work. That that means my hands are empty. I don't have any work. So the girl did not understand his words. So she said, I may manage to spare some work uh, for you if you like. So she said to the man, if you like, I'm going to spare some work for you. So I'm going to think and I'm going to tell you. That is what she means. So the man replied, girl of the silent torrent, all this time I have been waiting here only to take some work from your hands. And then the man, he replied and he says that all this time I was waiting for you so that I can take some work from your hands. So she asked, what sort of work would you like? He, uh, so she asked, what kind of work do you want or what sort of work do you like? So he said, girl of the silent torrent, couldn't you give me uh, one of your pictures? So this man uh, replied, and he addressed the girl as girl of the silent torrent. Couldn't you give me one of your pictures? So you have so many pictures with you. So here is the picture. So you have so many pictures with you. So one which you could spare. So give me one or uh, like that he asked him. So she asked a picture. Perhaps you should like to draw water from the torrent. So this girl, oh, what, uh, do you want picture? So uh, do you want to draw water like me from the torrent? So that was her doubt and she was expressing that. So he replied, no, I will draw pictures on your picture. So this was the answer. This is what the man replied. No, no, I'm not going to draw water from the torrent like you in the picture in the picture but I'm going to draw pictures on your picture so that is what the man replied so the girl she became annoyed and said I have no time to waste on people such as you so when he replied uh, or uh, when he gave the answer like that the girl she was very much annoyed she was confused and then she told that no, I'm not going to waste time on uh, people such as you. I'm going. And she went away. But how could a busy person get the better of one who had nothing to do? Every day they met. And every day he said to her, Girl of the silent torrent, give me one of your pictures. I will draw pictures on it. So like this, every day they met this girl, this active hustling girl, this active hustling girl, every day she would come to the, uh, she would come to the torrent and then uh, she would draw water uh, from the torrent and she would uh, go. So like that, every day, this girl and that man, they met every day. So the man again, he said to her, So girl of the silent torrent, give me one of your pictures. The same thing he spoke. So girl of the silent torrent, give me one of your pictures. I will draw pictures on it. So at last she had to give away and hand him over one of her pictures. So at last she agreed. The girl, she agreed. And she had so many pictures. So one picture she handed over to him. So the man began to paint on it. He drew line after line. So he took the picture and he started drawing lines on it. And then uh, he started painting on it. And he put color after color like that. So when he had finished, the girl held up the picture and stared at its side with eyes filled with wonder. So after painting this picture, so the girl took that picture and she went home and she started staring at that picture. 
and her eyes were filled with wonder and then brows drawn into an arc she asked and her eyebrows were drawn into an arc and she started asking the man what do they mean all these lines and all these colors what do they mean and what is their purpose what is the meaning of this and what is the purpose of this that were these were the questions asked by the active girl so the man laughed nothing a picture never has any meaning and it never serves any purpose so the man he started laughing and he gave uh, the answer that nothing a picture uh, will never have a meaning nor it serves any purpose so this was the meaning the this was the sorry this was the answer given by the man so the girl went away with her picture at home away from prying eyes she held it in the light turned it round and round and scanned the painting from all angles so this girl she took that picture and she went away to her home and she started uh, prying eyes prying means very closely and very with a great curiosity she was looking closely at that picture and she held it in the light uh, where the light is there she took the picture and she turned round and round the picture and she was doing scanning of the picture and she was seeing the painting from all angles at night she left her bed lit a lamp and scanned it again so she left her bed at that night and again she lit the lamp and again she started scanning very carefully uh, she was observing the painting again in silence and she wondered for the first time in her life she had seen something that had no meaning and no purpose at all so in her life she she thought that this is the first time i'm seeing that a painting uh, which had no meaning and no purpose at all when she set out for the torrent the next day her hurrying feet were a little less hurrying than before and again the next day again she has go she has to go to the torrent but she was not in a hurry to go there she was a little less hurrying than before for in her mind thoughts had arisen thoughts that had no meaning and no purpose at all now she was thinking and thinking in a very great manner and then she she had thoughts and she was thinking that uh, these are the thoughts that had no meaning and no purpose at all these were the thoughts which were uh, running in her mind never as before so she saw the unemployed man standing by the torrent and she asked confusedly but what what do you want from me again the next day she went to the torrent with the uh, with the picture in her hands with the picture in her hands and she asked the man confusedly what what do you want from me again the second time she asked he said only some work from your hands yes again he is asking again uh, i have uh, completed the pictures work with painting i drew lines now th- that work is over now for the second time i want some more work from your hands and what sort of work would you like that was the question again put by the active girl so let me weave a colored ribbon for your hair if you will so now she was asking uh, he was asking sorry he was asking that i'm going to weave a colored uh, ribbon see here i i'm going to weave a colored uh, ribbon for your hair if you will if you like i'm going to weave a colored uh, ribbon like this for you and what for she asked then 
ही सेज नथिंग रिबन्स वर मेड ग्लीमिंग विथ कलर्स द बिजी गर्ल ऑफ वर्कर्स पैराडाइज हैड टू नाउ स्पेंड अ लॉन्ग टाइम एवरी डे इन टाइंग द कलर रिबन राउंड हर हेयर द मिनट स्लिड बाय अनयूटिलाइज मच वर्क वॉज लेफ्ट अनफिनिश्ड सो लाइक दैट यू कैन सी इन द पिक्चर see she wore a red rib- ribbon which was woven and it was gleaming with colors with a beautiful uh, red color so this busy girl of workers paradise now she had to spend uh, a long time every day like this in tying the colored ribbon round her hair so when she is uh, tying that ribbon round her hair the minutes slid by a lot of time was wasted and her time was unutilized whereas in workers paradise uh, they are uh, you find everything except leisure but here she made the time unutilized and much work was left unfinished in the workers paradise so like that she wasted her time tying her a ribbon around her hair so in workers paradise work had of late begun to suffer so like that with this uh, girl with this active hustling girl the girl of the silent torrent with because of her now work it began to suffer many persons who had been active before were now idle now uh, everybody in the workers paradise there were very 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 busy but now all the persons they became very idle the people who were very active now before they became idle and they started wasting their precious moments on unnecessary things on unnecessary things all the people in workers paradise they started spending time on unnecessary things such as painting and sculpture so the elders they became anxious they became anxious in workers paradise and a meeting was called why is it happening like this what is the reason so they held a meeting and then all agreed that such a thing had so far been unknown in the history of workers paradise so in the uh, history of workers paradise never before it had been like this and this is the first time and it is unknown in the history of workers paradise that such a thing had uh, so far been so the aerial messenger he came into the picture and then the aerial messenger he hurried he hurried into the meeting and as soon as he entered he bowed before the elders as a salutation and then he made a confession confession means uh, uh, to agree or uh, to agree to the mistake which Uh, which ha uh, which is done in the workers paradise so i brought a wrong man in this paradise he said so aerial messenger told that it is my mistake and he confessed regarding his mistake and he tells that i brought a wrong man into this paradise it is all due to him which has happened so the man was summoned so he was uh, sent for to call and then he came in the man came came in now you can see you can see so uh, the man uh, was summoned he came in the elder saw his fantastic dress his quaint brushes so in the picture you can see in his right hand there are uh, quaint brushes and his pile of paintings here in the left hand 
and they realized at once that he was not the right sort for workers paradise so all the elders they saw him his fantastic dress and his quaint brushes and his pile of paintings and now they came to a realization and they realized that he was not the right person in this workers paradise so stiffly the president said this is no place for the likes of you therefore you will have to leave at once so the president of the meeting he he told in a very stiff manner stiffly he told that there is no place for people like you who have uh, the likes of this painting or brushing for the likes of you therefore you will have to leave this paradise at once so that was spoken by the president to this man so the man sighed in great relief and gathered his brush and paint now he was in great relief when this was spoken by the president so he sighed and then he with great relief he gathered all his brushes and his uh, paintings but as he was about to leave the girl of the silent torrent came up tripping and said so when he was about to leave the girl of the silent torrent she came to this uh, man and she was tripping tripping means she was hopping and dancing in light steps and she said wait a moment for i too will go with you so wait just wait o oh man i will also come along with you so that was her uh, expression or that, that was her answer to this man so the elders when they saw this man and uh, and this girl uh, they were gasped in surprise so i tell you what is gasp it is struggle for breath the elders uh, they were gasped with in surprise for never before had a thing like this happened in workers paradise and thought and they thought that never uh, in this uh, workers paradise history it had been like this this is the first time in the workers paradise history that this thing has happened and a thing that had no meaning at is and it has no purpose at all so uh, uh, this is the uh, ending of a uh, wrong man in workers paradise and with this we complete this lesson a wrong man in workers paradise thank you